Customer service done right can be your company's single biggest competitive advantage. Welcome to the customer service revolution. Join customer service authority and best-selling author John DeJulius as he interviews leaders who are revolutionizing their industries. This is more than a podcast, though. It's a movement. The customer service revolution is a radical overthrow of conventional business mentality designed to transform what customers and employees experience. If you are a revolutionary customer service leader who's ready to stop competing on price and obsessed with building a brand that people cannot live without, this podcast is for you. Welcome to the Customer Service Revolution Podcast with John DeJulius. In this episode, John discusses how undeveloped potential cheats those around us and how it deprives ourselves of joy, satisfaction, and opportunities. Living our life to its fullest potential is not an opportunity. It's a responsibility. It's an obligation to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be every day. Not just for yourself and how your life will benefit, but also for all the people depending on you, your spouse, children, friends, employees, coworkers, customers, and your community. Are you ready to live an extraordinary life? Here's your host of the Customer Service Revolution Podcast, John DeJulius. Hello, revolutionaries, and welcome to another episode of the Customer Service Revolution Podcast. I am John DeJulius, Chief Revolution Officer of the DeJulius Group, and your host for this podcast. And this week, I want to talk about my personal mission statement, how to live an extraordinary life so countless others do as well. Hope you find this as meaningful for you to create as it has been for me to create and live by. So who are you not to be great? Who are you to be ordinary? Who are you to deny greatness? If you would deny it to yourself, you would deny it to the entire world. How dare you be ordinary? Each of us has the ability to impact thousands of people's lives through providing genuine care for others, well, it's, whether it's called customer service or human service. One of my favorite quotes is by author Marion Wright Edelman, who said, service is the rent we pay for being, it is the very purpose of life, not something you do in your spare time. However, it is critical that each of us understand that the purpose of why we are giving this amazing gift of life and what we are put here for, what we are to accomplish in the short time we have, you can't just deliver world-class service at work. It has to be something that is in you in all areas of your life. It is who you are. It is the way you treat your family, neighbors, coworkers, customers, and strangers. And remember, there are no strangers, just friends we haven't met yet. I really like how actor Matthew McConaughey said it while he accepted his Academy Award for Best Actor in a leading role for his part in Dallas Buyers Club. McConaughey said, my hero, that's who I chase. My hero is me in 10 years, every day, every week, every month, every year of my life. My hero is always 10 years away. I'm never going to be my hero. I'm not going to attain that. I know I'm not. That's just fine with me because that keeps me with somebody to keep on chasing. So how to create your own personal purpose statement. Over the last 20 years, I've had a personal purpose statement, a vision of what I want to accomplish in my lifetime, which has served me greatly through good times and some tough times. I've had this vision posted on my bathroom mirror, in my wall, and it's on my desk in my office. It reads, live an extraordinary life so countless others do as well. I don't want to live an extraordinary life so I have a bigger bank account, nicer car, house, and more toys. I know that if I live an extraordinary life, so many others will as a result. And if I do not find a way to live an extraordinary life, I will probably end up cheating thousands of people. Undeveloped potential cheats those around us, those we touch, influence, impact, as well as deprives ourselves 
of joy, satisfaction, and opportunity. Living our life to its fullest potential is not an opportunity. It's a responsibility. It's an obligation to be the best version of ourselves we possibly can be every day. Not just for us and how our lives will benefit, but also for all the people depending on us, our spouse, children, friends, employees, coworkers, customers, and our community. Living an extraordinary life is living fully. I believe that we all have an enormous potential inside of us. And there are parts of that potential that we do not develop. That means we are cheating the rest of the world out of the contribution that we could have made. So if I don't live fully, I don't just deny myself a lot of joy and satisfaction. I deny the rest of the people in the world the benefit of what I could have contributed. Success is when you are firing on all eight cylinders, mentally, physically, emotionally, with family, socially, in your career, financially, and spiritually. All of those are part of you and they all deserve your very best. Living an extraordinary life is like when the flight attendant says, you must put your own mask on first before helping those around you. When you first hear it, it actually sounds a bit selfish. However, what use are you to anyone else if you don't take care of yourself first? You're listening to the Customer Service Revolution podcast. You've probably read all of John's books, So you're obviously passionate about the customer experience. Have you ever considered a career as a customer experience coach? The DeJulius Group can train and license you in the same methodology that our consultants use. It's the same framework that's being used in companies like Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Nestle, and the Ritz-Carlton's. Our Coach Camp gives you the tools to start your own business as a CX coach. If you're ready to invest in your future, and build a business around your passion for the customer experience? Contact Claudia at thedejuliusgroup.com or visit cxcoaching.com. A personal purpose statement is not something you just write out, post, and expect automatic achievement from. You need to make yourself accountable. It needs to be measurable. For me, living an extraordinary life means there's so many things I need to be working on daily, personally, and professionally. It's everything from who I'm spending time with, are they positive or negative influences in my life, to my health, exercise, and diet. Some people think that if they eat junk food all day, that's their own business. However, I realize that if I eat poor, it is one of the most selfish things I can do. Because when I get home after work, I'm going to be exhausted irritable and not have any good energy left to spend with my family. Therefore, I just cheated them. It's not only living longer, but it's the quality of life I want to have during my 50s, 60s, 70, 80 years. I'm fortunate to be on this planet. Anytime I feel like I'm not living an extraordinary life, and that is more times than I like to admit, I can look back at my key drivers and see why, see why I'm neglecting, and hopefully I can get back right on track. So what if today is the last day of your life? Are you ready? Did you do what you were put on this earth to do? Did you make the impact in people's lives you're capable of? We we don't get to say much over how or when we die, but we do get to decide how we're going to live. So decide. Is this the life you want to live? Is this the person you want to love? Is this what you want to do every day? Are these the people you want to spend your time with? Is this the best you can be? Can you be stronger, kinder, more compassionate? Can you love more? Can you care more? Can you show more appreciation? Can you forgive? What are you waiting for? Think about how different Would our world be today if people like Mother Teresa, Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Bill Gates, Walt Disney, Oprah Winfrey, Thomas Edison, Nelson Mandela, and other greats chose to be ordinary? What if they just said, screw it, I want to be like everyone else? Our greatest fear should be that we will not realize our fullest potential before we die. Another great exercise 
that I encourage you to do is, did I utilize the potential I had inside of me today? Okay. So your greatest fear before you die should was that I won't realize the fullest potential, the talents God gave to me. What a waste if you don't. What a waste if I don't. Okay, think about what if God could have given our talents to someone else who would have done more with it? They say a runner has two fears before he runs a race. The first one is that he will not have enough energy to finish the race strong. And the second fear is that he will have some energy left over when he finishes. I don't want to have anything left when I am done. So think for a moment, if you die tomorrow, would you have reached your fullest potential as a spouse, parent, son, daughter, employee, coworker, service provider, leader, neighbor, and friend? So the following is exercise I did that challenged what I do every day. And I want you to consider doing, ask yourself if you are reaching your fullest potential in all areas of your life. So this is how you do it. You write a few sentences about each of the people or groups of people that are important to you. And you start with, did I utilize the potential I had inside of me to, and then you do it with spouse, children, your leadership team, employees, customers, community, friends. Okay, I'll give you some examples. So here's an example of how I did it. You start with, did I utilize the potential I had inside of me? So did I utilize the potential I had inside of me to make my children feel that they were the most special human being ever born? Did they feel that they could accomplish anything because they believe in their own ability and a phenomenal self-esteem because of the way I make them feel every day? Here's another example. Did I utilize the potential I had inside of me to help my customers gain an unfair competitive advantage? Did I deliver more than what they were expecting? Did they feel like I was one of the best investments they had ever made? So I have written those out for my significant other, children, leadership team, employee, community, customers, and friends. I encourage you to do the same thing with starting each section group with, did I utilize the potential I had inside of me too? And then you finish that sentence or sentences for each one of those groups. I look at it as often as I can, hopefully weekly, like to look at it more. And I will tell you when I look at it, it makes me more present and more intentional with how I want to be with those people. So I invite you to live an extraordinary life so countless others do. Please share with me if you do these exercises or if you've already done these and what your personal vision statement is for you. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Customer Service Revolution podcast. And I will see you next week. You are the reason we launched the Customer Service Revolution podcast. So we hope you're enjoying it. Please give us a review. Let us know what you think. Even a simple thumbs up click lets us know if we're on the right track. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts to be sure you get every episode. Thanks for listening and for being part of the Customer Service Revolution.